It's time you get the land on the lock. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump that fence. If only rats were the only bird in those streets. Very, I'm making sorry. You copy? Very black, very right. Great. Now remind me again, what does this dumb have to do with our missing person case? Thank you, Mary, you were right. This place definitely isn't abandoned. It's crawling in front of us. Criminals will use a heavy dose of justice. You worry too much, Mary. I beat her. Sorry, you sometimes I can get a little handsy. Well, aren't you a big boy? No, it's not the same. This is Detective Michael McGrist. I don't know if anyone will ever find this recording. Hell, even if they did, I doubt they'd believe it. But someone's got to take the time to set the record straight. And right now, time's all I got. It was supposed to be a simple case, but even call it routine. One little case ended up pulling me down a road unlike any I had been before. And let me tell you, pal, when you've been on the force for over 20 years, that means something. But my beat isn't just anywhere. It's on the streets of Los Angeles. Apparently some people call it the City of Angels, but I've never heard anyone from here say that. And for good reason. It's a tough, hot, traffic-filled hellhole. But at the end of the day, it's the hellhole I call hell home. And at least, that's what I used to think. It all started on a Wednesday morning. My partner, Detective Knight, and I were on our way to Chinatown to check out a lead on a missing person's case we'd just been assigned to that same day. Mike, would you quit messing around with your gun? I swear, any free moment you get, you're either loading, cleaning, or lubricating one of those things. This isn't just a thing, Barry. This is a finely crafted device, expertly engineered to dispense justice. And her name is Sharon. 
Besides, I wouldn't be over here messing around with Sharon if you just let me drive for once. After last time? Nope, never again. You drive like a man. You drive like a nervous teen. Well, at least I can keep both my hands on the wheel. That's a low blow, Barry. Anyway, we're going to have to table this discussion for another time, because we're here. Going by the reports I read this morning, it seems like this place is sealed up pretty tight. So, while I scout out any alternate entrances that they might have missed, I should get inside via the ventilation system. Typical. Well, you are much better at it than I am. The report said there should be an open vent down that alleyway on the right side of the building. I'm gonna start scoping out the exterior now, but you can head over there whenever you're ready. Just make sure you radio me once you're inside. And remember what the chief said? This is first and foremost an intel gathering mission. He doesn't want you going in guns blazing, and I don't want to be stuck cleaning up your mess. I'm still filling out paperwork from last time. Will you at least try to stay out of trouble this time? Don't worry, Barry. You're in good hands. This time you met the long arm of the law. 